This video will demonstrate how to download and use Unisub templates with CorelDRAW. To get started, go online to unisub.com. Click on Templates and then select your category. For this example, we use coasters and holders. Find the exact product you will be sublimating. We will use 5703. Select the type of file you wish to download. CDR is a proper choice for CorelDRAW. Click CDR and then click Save. Select or create a folder to download the template file to for easy retrieval. I have created a file called Unisub Templates. Click Save and the file will download. We will now use a template that was downloaded from the Unisub website. The first step is to open the template. In CorelDRAW, click on File, then click Open. Now locate the template that was just downloaded. We were using the 5703 coaster. Click on it to select, then click Open. Note that the blue area of the template defines the exact size of the substrate, whereas the green area defines the bleed area. You will need to make sure that the edges of your artwork match the outer edges of the green area. This will be covered a little bit later in the video. The second step is to add your artwork. Click on File, then Import. Now locate your artwork. and click on it to select, then click Import. Now left click and drag to set the size for the graphic. Ensure that it is larger than the template. Don't worry about the shape of the substrate being different from the shape of the artwork. The third step is to move the artwork behind the template for processing. Click on Arrange, then click on Order, and then click on to back of page. The fourth step is to reshape the artwork to match the shape of the template. Click on effects, click on power clip, and then place inside container. Now move the large black arrow into the template area. Left click and the image will reshape and resize to fit the profile of the template. The fifth step is to resize the modified image to match the outer green boundary of the template. Hold down the shift key and left click on one corner of the anchor points. Now drag your mouse to resize then release. The final step is to delete the template and template text so they don't print with the graphic. Click on tools then click on Object Manager. Note that a new window opens, which should show the layers of the file you're working on. If the layers are not shown, click on the plus sign located next to Layer 1. Right click on Artistic Text. Now click on Delete. Right click on Ellipse and click on Delete. The template and template text are now removed. The image has now been resized and reshaped to fit the template and you're ready to print and press. If you plan to print more than one image on the same sheet of paper, then use a copy and paste function to place as many designs in the print area as possible. Right click on the design, then left click on copy. Now right click and select paste. The pasted image will land on top of the existing image. Left click on the image and drag it to separate it from the one below. 
Now repeat the process until you have maximized the print area.